freely, free speech essentially is the underlying and central topic today. But uh, the hook is a one prevention of hate crimes and hate speech bill that politicians are currently um, muting before parliament. So in order to unpack this topic and to have um, a keener understanding of exactly what this bill is and what it seeks to do in South Africa, the South African legal and criminal justice system, I've got two awesome, fantastic panelists tonight who are going to help me unpack this. How do we fight back against this? So what Deary say is, I just want to clarify, because this is something we have to clarify quite regularly, is it's not a pet petition. It's a public participation platform, which means that you go to the website, you go to our current campaigns and you click on the link specific that talks about the hate crimes bill, the hate crimes and hate speech bill. What you can then do is you can navigate the drop down menus, pick what your decision is. If you agree with the bill, if you disagree with it, or if you do not agree fully, what your major concern is, if it's the bill in its entirety, you can write a comment, you can upload documents. So you can make your submission as complex or as simple as you like. You can literally have a five minute submission, which is a click through. You populate your personal details. We're fully compliant with Popia and you hit submit. What then happens, that submission is sent to the originator where this bill uh, comes from. We also keep a copy of it. We count it publicly, which is why we can tell you at all times how many submissions, individual submissions there have been, which means that they get the submission in a legal format that they can't just reject. My advice is please don't write rude language things in the submission because then they can ignore it. So don't put big middle finger to big Taylor or whomever, just write something sensible. And if you don't feel like writing something sensible, just leave the comment section blank. That makes it, I promise you it makes a big difference. And what the great thing about this is, is government cannot, after the fact, come and deny that they only got X amount of submissions because we keep a record of those submissions. We get not only delivery receipts, we get read and interaction receipts. So we know exactly how many are read at any given time or if they've been interacted with at all. So it is a transparent, trustworthy process. And it has already made a difference on several bills that have been withdrawn, um, canceled or pulled in the sense that the public participation angle is very powerful, but it's only as powerful as citizens use it. And I've said it many times before, the, the biggest threat to our democracy is actually not the tyrannical government, but it's uh, apathy among citizens. Mm. And if citizens take ownership of their democracy, this is your democracy, this isn't the ANC's democracy, this isn't the DA's democracy, this isn't the EFF's democracy, this is yours. You own it and you need to exercise ownership over it, which means become involved in your evidence and make your voice heard on these matters because it does make a difference.